Today on our 2011 Honda Fit, we're going to be test fitting the Swagman Fork Down Roof Mounted Bike Rack, part number S64710. We'll begin our test fit by placing the rack on top of the vehicle. Today we'll be test fitting on the Thule Rapid Traverse Roof Rack System. So I'm going to go ahead and grab a stool here, that way I can see a little better. We'll begin our, our test fit. Start by placing the U-bolt underneath the load bar and then securing it with the wing nuts. With these in place, we can go ahead and tighten it down evenly from front to back. Go ahead and follow the same procedure on the other side. Insert the U-bolt and then take our two wing nuts and thread them on. Go ahead and do like the other side, tighten them down evenly from front to back. With that in place, we'll go ahead and move to our rear portion of the rack. It comes with the U-bolt, the bracket, and the two wing nuts. So we'll go ahead and remove these. Remove our bracket. Now this installs with the U-bolt on the top. You may have to slide, leave the two nuts here that allow you to adjust the rack front to back and slide it in order for it to fit around the load bar. Then take our bracket with the flat side up, position that over the U-bolt and secure it with our wing nuts. Once we have both of them started, we can go ahead and tighten it down, trying to get it tightened evenly. that tightened down, you can see our rack is nice and secure. We'll go ahead and open our rear wheel strap here in preparation for loading our bike. Set our bike up on top here, making sure there's room on the skewer for the forks to go down over. Now this does cam over, um, but we can go ahead and tighten it up here as needed by twisting it. There we go. We'll also do our rear wheel strap here. With that tightened down, we're ready to hit the road. That does it for a test fit of the Swagman Fork Down Roof Mounted Bike Rack, part number S64710 on our 2011 Honda Fit. We'll go ahead and take it through our slalom course, our alternating bumps course, and our solid bumps. That way you can get an idea of how it looks going down the road. Here on our test course, we'll go ahead and take it through the slalom. This will show you the side-to-side -side action, such as sharp corners or evasive maneuvers. Secondly, we'll go through our alternating speed bumps. This will give you the twisting action, which simulates potholes, hitting a curb, uneven pavement, or hitting road debris. Lastly, we'll go through our solid speed bumps. This will show you the up and down action, such as driving through a parking lot, parking garage, or out of a driveway that has a steep grade.